number four. Yeah, okay, practically the same character as Musa again. And, okay, time parallel thing again. In fact, this is probably the... All right. And you probably think I'm psychopathic, which, yeah, I think I'm psychopathic too. Mimi from Digimon. She's just... She's adorable, and she's a nutcase. She's like, oh, yay, I'm awesome. Let's buy some shoes. Nah, nah, nah. Basically, if you've ever seen, like, Liam Sullivan's Kelly videos, she is Kelly. I actually want to make a video of, like, the Oh My God Shoes song. I mean, it would just go so well. And so I'd be like, yeah, we don't have them in your size. They're too big. Oh, oh. Yeah, well, fuck you, bitch. And yeah, that would be that would be me. She could pull it off. She could. And I once I once went through a frame of hating her because I decided, oh, I'm going to marry Joe Okida, and let's not go into that because it was scary. And actually, I was Misa for a while. Um, yeah. But anyway, and then I still ended up trying to beat her because I bought like a pink cowgirl hat and went around in it everywhere. And then, I don't know, just, and when she ended up with the pink hair, that was cool too. And although one thing I never understood, is that a final episode where they're like, oh look, they're all grown up and they've all got a little family. Why is she standing next to Izzy? In fact, why the hell does she become a famous chef? It's a bit weird. Although that said, I mean, that bit, that was just like, oh, okay. Time and Matt have actually got together. Thank the friggin' Lord. But anyway, yeah, they're gay. Gay is the day of long. And what the hell was Joe and Sora about? I mean, I would have gone better with him and I'm gay and he's gay and then he's been like completely gay. But what the hell? <laughs> okay, anyway, yeah. I'll stop slashing people for now and I'll just get back to this. Mate, you would technically be slashing. Or would it be for slashing? Either way. I'm doing something. <laughs> Probably should be doing something useful. At number three, it's Yukari Baby. Yukari Sensei from Azumanga Dyer. Let's face it, she gets drunk, she plays video games, she oversteeps, she bitches, she hates everyone, she loves everyone, she's a whore, she hates everyone, she's crazy. Uh, I think I could just be falling in love with her even more and more right now. But she's still a, not a number one, but poor her. But yeah, she's, oh, she's brilliant. She's competitive, she's mad, she's mental. And basically, yeah, I think I love her. Yeah, I mean, you just can't fault the Yukari. It can't be done. Although, although, the other manga that I can't there was like several characters I would have put on this list as well. Like Sakaki, because like, oh my god, Sakaki and Kairin, because I just love Kairin. But like, um, I don't know, the marriage might be awkward because she might be too wagey in love with Sakaki. So you would like, be with Kairin, but she'd be thinking of Sakaki. I mean, sorry, I'm thinking of Flint's friends and records and stuff. But anyway, yeah, and. Niamo is kind of hot. I think it's the voice and the fact that when she gets very drunk, she talks about sex, which, yeah, that's cool. But yeah, Yukari, we salute you, baby. Oh, and Tomo's cool. But yeah, Yukari, rock the hell. This me all you want. I love Pokemon. I love Team Rocket. I love Jessie. Which is why she comes in at number two. And no, that doesn't mean she's shit, so shut up. <laughs> but yeah, she's in Team Rocket. She's a bitch. She whips that James into submission and crap. Or what? James was gay as hell, but there's, there's like one episode where they shag, and it's like not even. They spend that episode going on about how gay it is. I can tell you which episode it was. It was called, um. No, I mean, it was something to do with matrimony anyway, and I love that episode, it was so cute, but yeah. Um, like, James was supposed to be married to Jezebel, who was a Jessie clone, only more and well, I wouldn't say more and but I love Jessie, but yeah, she's just psycho crazy and had a bondage dungeon, which was interesting. Actually, no, that would have been 
things as parents. I know there was bondage involved, which was a bit weird. And yeah, let's see. Right, James was very gay and in the whole episode and then when they run away, he's like, Oh no, I'll run away and be all like something and Yeah, so he runs off in the balloon and Jesse and me are like, Oh no, we're all like screwed and stuff and then he shouts, Prepare for trouble and she's like, Make it trouble and then she he pulls her into the Hey, um, helicopter, uh, um, air balloon, and they're like smiling at each other, all, oh my god, yay, and they leave me out, but then a boy, oh yeah, he runs off in a minute, and he's like, oh, didn't you marry just oh, no, I've been disinherited, oh, it doesn't matter, we don't need money, and it's like, double trouble time, and she's like, double trouble time, and then they blatantly have sex in the air balloon, but it's like, he's gay, she's a massive lesbian, how does it work? But yeah, and then Meow's like, wait for me, but <clears throat> anyway, yeah, Jesse is hot, though, again, this was another one that had, like, a competition, Officer Jenny, <laughs> but yeah, I digress or something. And at number one, oh, the Yuri, <laughs> she's a mess. She's not, I think her last name's Hannah Zano, but I might be wrong, that's what it is in the manga at least, but just, she's enough from Strawberry Panic, she's just, oh my god, so hot. She's got the long, silver hair thing going on, which is like, oh my god, hot. She's, oh, I just can't describe how hot she is. <laughs> and she's a lesbian, which makes it even better. It's like, oh my god, she's in a summer. She's in a summer, you don't want... What's the name? What's the name? What's the name? You don't want Maggie such a you want me, you want me, you want me. But yeah, she's hot. And she's just oh my god, I'm probably sounding like a complete freak now, and I do know she's a fictional character and just a couple of pixels and lines and things, but oh my god, and she's just She's always doing random hot things like let me see, what does she do? Oh yeah, she the first, first time she meets Nagisa, she just kisses her on the forehead, which makes Nagisa faint, which I suppose, yeah, why not. Next time she kisses her, I think she goes to kiss her on the lips, but then her friend Nuki's like, Oi, don't you bloody do that, she's a masala, because it's bad, and it's supposed to be good and stuff. And then she's like, oh, well then, then she's like, Nagisa, you little you're nice now. And then you find out a sad little backstory that while she was being a whore once in the past, she met a girl who was all cute and oh, you could have seen it. And then she falls in love with her and she's like, you get me in, there's no cure. And she's like, no. So she's like, you're going to make your life as happy as possible until you die. And so basically, they shack. Yeah, that, I can see why that would make your life worth living, but yeah, so that happens, and then she dies, and then she just doesn't love anyone for a while, she just becomes a complete and utter whore, but then she meets Nekita, and it's like, oh my god, I love you, and it's like, oh, cute, and it's like, she's a little star, and seriously, again, I do realise she's a fictional character, and so that is the end of my little weird top ten of Yuri, lesbian y uh, perverseness. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed it and please don't kill, flame, report, whatever me. <laughs> anyway, to the pip.